Yo, what's good my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great. And today we open up some legend packs. So we start with the bundle top and we get the Beast Quake 2.0 collectible. And we get a micro over 93 overall. Not what I really wanted. I wanted that at water or something like that. Somebody good on defensive. But we got we, we didn't get it really good. We got a Michael Irvin. Uh, I sold that card. I didn't want to use them. I didn't need them because I did get new players and new receivers, which I didn't show you guys yet. And uh, for that team of the year collectible, I do not know what to do with that. Uh, as we get a Justin set 90 overall, I sold that as well. I'm building my coins right up. Right now, I got like 450, 450,000 coins. So. I plan to do some wager against you guys. I already got a few lined up, so I can't wait to get those done and show you guys how that goes. Um, back to the team of the year stuff. I really don't know what to do with those collectibles. I think they're going to give out sets or something like that. But for that beast mode, I sold it because I feel that since they're new, the prices are going to be high. So why not sell it while it's high and buy it while it's low? So that's my plan with that. So I did sell that. If you guys pulled legendary packs, what did you guys get? Uh, as you guys can see, haven't got any at least just that for Justin Forsett and the Michael Over. As we get a Mike Webster and we get Robert Mathis, two good back-to-back -back cars. Mike Webster goes for like 30k, and Robert Mathis goes for like 10. So that's pretty good in the legend pack. And my opinion about these packs, I really don't like it. A uh, hundred dollars, pretty not even a hundred dollars. I think it's less than a hundred dollars, but. $100 for these type of packs. Uh, game changers, I think, is better. And uh, yeah, I think. And we get another elite. Louis Vasquez, 87 overall right guard. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't, really like these packs. I think I might have to pass on it next week, depending on what the topper is. I like the fact that they give you a guaranteed legend topper. So that's drawing me to it. But depending on what the topper is next week or whenever they drop these packs again, I may or may not get it. But if you guys want to see it, you guys are going to have to give this video a thumbs up. So if you guys do want to see it, depending on how many likes this video get, and we get another elite, the Quell Jackson. Uh, depending on how many likes this video get, I may or may not pull another pack next week. So depending on what you guys think, then that will be my decision on what I do next week or whenever they release more legendary packs. And I did complete that uh, Rising Stars collection. So I did get my 90 overall wide receiver. Haven't used him yet. I put him in wide receiver number three because he has that 95 speed and really good catching in traffic. So I can use him on slant routes and drags and things like that. So I could use his 95 speed. I don't even know what his elusiveness is. I didn't really look at the card very well. So hopefully he does have good elusiveness so he could break tackles and things like that. Um. And next week, I'm planning to do a lot of player reviews, so hopefully you guys can stay tuned for that. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and let me know what you guys think of the content. So as we're going down the packs, like I said, I don't really like these packs. These packs were subpar. I think they were okay. I think this is the last legend pack. We start with a Butler, Cowboys defense, Cordell Patterson. Uh, we get another. We get a Dave Castro, another rookie legend. Doesn't go for much, and that's how we pretty much end the pack open. So if you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out. Peace.